let's take a look at an example that is a bit more complicated. Our steps that we've been doing so far, we want to keep using those same steps. But if we look at what's going on in this problem, we ha now have two terms in the numerator. We're using the same basic approach, but we have to be a bit more cautious about having two or more terms in the numerator. As soon as we have two or more, we have to be on the lookout for making sure we do things properly to all of the terms that we have in our expression. This means for this problem, when I first think about simplifying the fraction, 13 over 26, no. Because we have to be able to evenly divide out of every single term. And now that we have three, it's not about just pick something from numerator and denominator. It's about make sure we can evenly divide it from every single term. So number outside of the radical is a no-go because there's no number outside of the radical in this other term in the numerator. Same rule is going to stop us from canceling a radical 6 over radical 3 because we need to be able to divide a number out from all three radicals. So we can't do anything there. There actually is something that we can do. We can divide out from all three of these terms. We can divide out an x. So let's take care of that. From each of these terms, there is an x available outside of the radical. So we'll divide out an x from numerator and denominator. And if we have two or more terms, we have to make sure that we can divide it out from all the terms that we have. Dividing that x out leaves us with just 13 radical 2. Dividing this x out leaves us with just this minus radical 6. In the denominator, 26x squared radical 3. There were two x's here. We divided one out. There's one left there to make that 26x radical 3. That's all we can do in terms of simplifying the fraction. Can we simplify any of our radicals? Radical 2, we cannot simplify. We cannot simplify radical 3 or radical 6. That leaves us with rationalize the denominator. Now the 26x that we see down in the denominator is not a concern. It is outside of the radical. Remember, we are rationalizing the denominator, which is removing any radicals down there. So what we choose to multiply to top and bottom is not going to be influenced by anything outside of a radical. We only care about the radical part. That's why we choose top and bottom times just radical 3. If we multiply by 26x, that's excessive. We want to stay away from that. Think only about clearing the radical. Here's the next part of the problem where we need to be cautious about the fact that there are multiple terms in the numerator. To multiply the numerator by radical 3, it's going to have to be distribute, just like we need to be able to divide from every single term. When we go to multiply, we need to make sure that we multiply to every single term. To multiply just to the radical 6, but not to the radical 2, is an error. Okay, radical 3 times our first term, 13 radical 2. We know that we're not multiplying it to the number outside, we're multiplying it to the 2 inside. It gives us this radical 6 and 13 still on the outside. Next multiplication, radical 3 times radical 6, radical 18. You're maybe thinking about we can simplify that radical. We'll definitely get there before we call this problem finished. Let's uh, take care of the denominator. Radical 3 times another radical 3, that's just regular 3, but we will now need to multiply that to 26x. So the 26 times 378, there's our 1x. So the denominator is now rationalized. There's no radical down here, but we have to do a double check for any simplifying that might have popped up now. And it's this radical 18. We know that it is a radical 9 times radical 2, and we like that because radical 9 can be simplified into just a 3. So this term back here will be 3 radical 2 right there. 13 radical 6 minus 3 radical 2 over 78x. Lastly, can we simplify the fraction part? Our radicals are totally simplified, but can we evenly divide out of all three of our terms looking at the numbers that we have out front? 
the 78, it is a multiple of 3, but the 13, we cannot divide a 3 out from there. So we cannot simplify the fraction. The radicals are done. The denominator is rationalized. We are finished.